You know, Drew, this is a huge weekend for Corpus Christi because the fifth annual Fiesta La Flor is this weekend. A lot of people look forward to it. And if you're looking to take in a little bit of more Selena, the Queen of Tejano, there are a few other spots in town here where you can visit. And Brenda Matuti takes us to them now. Advertise it. We don't have it, you know, all over. It's just word of mouth. Joseph Valdez with Q Production Studio says the Salina Museum was never meant to become the place it is today. What we do here is uh, uh, record. We're all musicians here. The museum is actually a recording studio. And in fact, it was the last place Selena recorded Dreaming of You, arguably one of her most famous songs. But after her passing, so many people showed up here to pay their respects, to learn more about Selena, to just take a little bit of Selena in their hearts. Now the museum sees visitors from all over the world. New England, Japan, Australia, Chile. Little by little, they started adding an item here, an item there. And before you know it, the idea of making the, uh, the, uh, the Selena Museum came about. One of the most popular spots for tourists to visit is the statue of the Tejano legend along the bayfront. Life-size statue of Selena. Um, she was known as the white flower. So there is a bronze painted white flower on the other side of her. The memorial plays music as people walk up to it. It's also one of the top 10 statues and monuments to see in Texas, according to TripAdvisor. We get about anywhere from 20 to 50,000 visitors a year. And below the Bayfront Memorial are five rose murals painted by children, all dedicated to Selena. But for those looking for a more quiet spot to remember Selena, her gravesite is located at the Seaside Memorial Park, where anyone can come and pay their respects. The site, however, is gated to protect it from being vandalized. Brenda Matuti, Action 10 News.